Hey Sagittarius, welcome to your February general reading. This is a general and will not resonate with everybody unfortunately, but I do personal readings and my email is in the description box as always, along with information on what different decks of cards I use. One just jumped down on the floor, Five of Roses, the garden there, and the Oracle of Delphine. Okay, so let's see they're both reversed here um the one and five the six it's related to the lovers um the five related to um the hierophant and the one related to the magician okay so a divine love either manifesting or um you've learned the lesson already here and you're looking for information about them Okay, so you could be having um, conversations or learning information, um, revealing options to you. Okay. Um, oh, yeah, up in the air. So this leaves you um, free to explore them, to look at life either glass half full or half empty. But if you're looking um, more optimistic, you're then free. You're the person in the balloon freeing yourself, right? Um, taking charge of your life here. So I feel like you're going to learn some information. It can be about um, somebody from your past or some sort of memories here, some sort of longing for somebody. Like I said, five plus one equals six. It could be related to a divine lover um, as five is related to um, the Hierophant and the one to, ma to the magician. About this divine lover not manifesting and things like that. But if you look with positivity, optimism, um, things like that, it's sort of freeing to you. You'll then be able to see things are not up in the air, okay? Um, eight plus one is nine, so I feel like it's related to the hermit. Um, then it's, you know, you. It's about your choice, how you choose to look at things. Uh, things left unsaid, so you feel like, I don't know which way to turn. But are you really stuck and left without options just because things are unsaid? Or do you get to look at life as, you know, my glass is half full um, and I'm going to take myself off here. <clears throat> so I feel like some something reveals itself to you here and then there's a choice to be made. You know, is my glass half full or half empty? How am I going to look at things here? And I think optimism is the key. It's freeing for you. It's like nearing the moment of truth here um looking back and reflecting um with the garden there i feel like it's memories so it's freeing for you somehow okay so the six of forces here again the six related to the lovers here so um you might have found this situation very overwhelming at this time but i feel like everything you went through um was very nurturing to your soul okay it may have felt like overwhelming or busy i'm feeling that sort of energy like everything happening all at once but it needed to go this way, you know, this this waterfall needed to come this way so it could join the rest of the water um, and, you know, the green area around it, that grows from it. So everything in its time and its place with this waterfall here. So I'm definitely feeling like you could have been overwhelmed by what happened uh, in a situation, whether it's, you know, family or friends or even a landlord or you know something like that some sort of um something happened that was very overwhelming to you but it all brought you to this point now you can look let's say um you lose your house it can feel very overwhelming i've been through this myself so it can feel like you know it's overwhelming everything's going wrong um if we're looking at the glass half empty if we look at it half full right okay i've been pushed now i have to make that move now i have to get in this um, hot air balloon and take myself to greener pastures to a better place let's say you know um, if you'd have stayed in that home that something um, would have happened maybe a flood in the house or something like that 
um, but I'm seeing that you're being overwhelmed and pressured into a situation. You feel backed into a corner, but actually it's something that happened um, for the best, okay? So something that brings these changes into your life. Um, changes are often uncomfortable, but it's usually for the best, right? So yeah, caught in the ruins. The more you try and hold on to this, and again, we see that six um, and a one, so the seven, it means challenges. The more you try to hold on to something and not let something go, the more you're sort of caught in the ruins here, um, holding yourself back, right? Rather than freeing yourself. Of freeing the other person. The other person could be doing this to you, not letting you go, out of fear that, you know, okay, I don't like change. Change is scary. What will happen then when I walk through this door? What's on the other side of these ruins? Okay, so I get it. Um, you know, when we're in difficult relationships or in a difficult place, um, maybe like I said, to do with a home, it may be falling down, but at least you've got a place to live, right? Um, so it may be that it's quite comfortable in the fact that you're not going to change, but then something forces to your roof falls off. You have this flood and you're like, I, I didn't want to move. I didn't want to change. I was happy with the way things are, but it's going to bring you to something better. Okay. Maybe you can buy a new house or rent a new place that will be overall better for you. I just feel like you may be going through changes that can feel overwhelming and uncomfortable, but will be um, for the best here. Like you're caught in a situation, it's like stuck in a rut. Like I said, reflection. I felt that with the Five of Roses, the garden there. It's a time to take a deep look at things, you know. Um, I definitely, the full moon will be in Leo on the 8th of February. So it's like you're nearing the moment of something about to happen or some truth about to be revealed to you. Um, but it, it pushes you to make these wiser choices in life. Okay, maybe if you was living with somebody else and then they tell you get out, then you wouldn't make that mistake again. Um, maybe if you was in a relationship and, you know, somebody's not giving you answers, you wouldn't make that mistake again. Okay, so it's about that reflection. And again, we see nine at plus one, which takes us to 10. So it takes us to the one. Um, and again, the magician. So it's manifesting here, okay? It's coming. Something's coming here to open your eyes. It may feel overwhelming at first, but how you deal with it, um, you might see it's either going to be like a tower moment or an opportunity. It's however you look at it. Your perception will be the outcome and how you know how long this takes to get over or how um things lead on from then you know if you're going to look at it like a tower moment and oh my god i can't believe this happened to me and you try to stay there then you become caught in the ruins of this tower but if you choose to look at it like an opportunity and get in this hot air balloon i see you moving forward very positively and the sky is opening up to you. The sky, you know, being limitless for you. The sky is not the limit. You are in a balloon. You could go further up here. But it's a time for looking within the Akashic Library. Um, yeah, looking for answers here. Um, trying to solve like, well, how do I get out of this puzzle here? The answer I'm telling you is within you. It's like the Hermit card, this. Um, full of knowledge okay and such beautiful knowledge could be gained from this situation even if it feels overwhelming such beautiful knowledge and lessons can be learned it's again how we look at things right it's how we look at things and um that's too so that's the high priestess that knowledge right that trust in your own instinct trust that it's going to be okay Trusting that everything happens for a reason and you're going to land on your feet somewhere better here. I feel that's the key for you guys. It's It could even be something like unexpected um, expenses. Maybe a bill pops up out of nowhere, but it's how we deal with things, right? So it may not be um, so deep for some and it may be deeper for others. 
but I feel like it leaves you feeling nostalgic and looking back and things like that. But I feel like if you grab the bull by the horns and, um, you know, really take that direction in life, you'll be going places here. It opens up a beautiful opportunity for good things to happen here. Six of Roses, the War of the Roses. Let me see what the card was that dropped. King of Forces and, uh, sorry, yeah, King of uh, Scrolls and Queen of Scrolls. Um, so it could be something to do with, like I said, um, with the Sixes, the Divine Lovers here. This is some people who seem like they're meant to be together here. Um, War of the Roses. So... <laughs> the six yeah again lovers a divine love connection here so you could love each other so incredibly deep but destroy each other that's the war of the roses like you love somebody so much that you're destroying them because you're caught in the ruins here right it's like i know i love you i know you love me i know we're meant to be together but right now we're hurting each other rather than helping each other so one of you may have realized this and left the other person okay so if somebody's left you and they they may realize i'm not good enough for you they may have not expressed it that way um because there's a divine lesson in this um we see the scrolls the akashic records um all about this higher learning this um six of roses another six related to the lovers and it telling us you know um about needing healing about learning and we see the scroll so i feel like you both may understand now that you was just hurting each other while you was together and if you look at this situation as oh i was left or i was defeated then i feel like you're again looking at something um the glass half full and it's just sort of making the time either apart or the time you're going through right now more difficult from your for yourself if you look at it more optimistically then we see what's the word we see like a peace agreement like you know it's like we can agree to disagree to not be with each other right now you know, let bygones be bygones. What What's happened has happened. You know, we can't change the past. So it's... I, what will be will be, I feel. But the way we go forward here is with optimism, with trust, with faith that I don't want to keep them caught in here. We could help each other to get out of these ruins. We could help each other get up over the wall here. But we're both choosing to ignore each other and ignore our needs. That It's the war of the roses. You know? It's fighting with the person you love the most. It's like... If there's a problem between you both, nobody's going to sort it out. You're like, okay, I'll, I'll spend the time on my own. I'll ignore them. And they're thinking I'll ignore you. But I feel like you need to make it clear that you're not abandoning this person or this um, connection. It's just like right now you need to get in touch with a more deeper thing within yourself. A more deeper goal or, you know, you have other things to sort out right now. Maybe they didn't express that to you. And it's, you know, it seems like war between you rather than, um, you know, this peace and this love. But like, you do love each other. But it just seems like both sides are preparing for war rather than peace. Both sides would rather fight each other than help each other out of the ruins of this relationship. But they're likely to get in touch with you. Are you with them? Because it seems like there's some sort of standoff here. Just remember, if you're looking at this from an optimistic point of view, or 
if you're looking at it from a view where you can help yourself out of these ruins as well as help them. So even if you don't want to do it for them at this moment in time because you're not ready to forgive them, do it for yourself. Good luck, guys.